All right, fellas, what's up? So, uh, coming at you with the uh, finally uh, a long-awaited review, a more in-depth review, if you will, on the Cold Steel uh, training bow staff. Uh, I know I had given you guys a little taste. I gave you a preview, if you will. Um, so uh, I guess uh, now that I finally had the time to do that, been swamped with work. Uh, all right, so I guess we'll go into the specifics first. It's approximately four and a half feet tall, 54 inches, made out of uh, polypropylene. Uh, one thing that kind of sets this stick a little, uh, it, it sets it apart from, I guess, conventional uh, martial arts bow staffs is uh, the circumference, the shape, and the overall weight. You see, I wondered, why do they call it a training bow staff? Why not just call it a bow staff? Uh, now that I've been doing some work with it, it's become pretty obvious. Uh, you can't really do, uh, if you're looking for a stick that you want to freestyle with, this isn't the one, not only due to the length, but due to the weight and the circumference. Uh, uh, bow staffs that are used in uh, freestyling competitions, things like that, are traditionally, uh, you know, the circumference is not as wide as it is on this stick. And they're real light skinned, obviously, for uh, you know, for for maneuvers that uh, you know require a light stick. Unless you're uh, you got big hands and you're just a real powerful person, and there are ways to, to play with a shorter stick. I, I guess most of the uh, freestyling I've seen is with six foot uh, bow staffs. Uh, this isn't really the stick you want. However, it does live up to its name as a training staff. It is good for uh, pell work, I believe, is the term. Uh, I've been, uh, you know, in an effort to uh, slim down a little, I let myself go, kind of, this summer. In an effort to uh, get rid of this thing right here, uh, I do a real simple uh, six count maneuver I saw in another YouTube video. I wish I remembered who it was and the title and whatnot. I could have given the person credit in this one. It's a real simple six count. It's a one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six. Uh, repeat with the next number all the way until six. It's a nice little workout. Works up a good sweat, and I've lost uh, a pretty good amount of weight so far doing it. Still got a little more to go though. But uh, you know, let me get up here real quick. As you can see, it is molded off of polypropylene. Let me uh, hold on a second. Here we go. As you can see, it's shaped like a stop sign. Uh, it's molded off of uh, an actual wooden stick. I guess uh, here it starts off a little thinner, but as you get more towards uh, the bottom, it kind of uh, it kind of tapers, or excuse me, it tapers from uh, this bottom edge to the to the top here. Uh, feels a little awkward, but I it, uh, at first, but I guess you eventually get used to it. So moving forward, let's go ahead and uh, show you what I know y'all want to see, which is a smash test. Uh, don't worry, no two by fours this time. Uh, this time I'm using some cinder blocks. That's what they use in the videos uh, for cold steel, so that's what I'm going to use. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I could uh, smash these uh, blocks with this stick. So you know what? Let me go ahead and bring the. Uh... This is on a tripod, by the way. See if I could get this all the way up here. Okay, looks a little uneven. See if I could get this on here. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try and, uh, well, if I can, I'm gonna use the fat end. I'm gonna try and hit it uh, on the top, and if I can't, I'm going to try and do a kind of a ramming position. I should be able to get it on, on this one though. Alright, so hold on, let me get closer. I know y'all want to see the destruction up close. Get over here. So, uh, all right, left a little bit of uh, of scuffing. I pissed off the neighbor's dogs. 
but uh, it left a little bit of scuffing but as you could see let me just as you could see it decimated that cinder block you know I was gonna do a second test um, you know I was gonna do like a uh, one of these numbers right here but I mean it's uh it's painfully obvious that this uh that polypropylene you know it, it's hardcore it will destroy uh, pretty much anything organic and it'll definitely destroy some cinder blocks so uh there you have it this is a review for the uh, cold steel training bow staff if uh you're looking to do some uh, pell work work up a nice sweat maybe lose a few pounds i definitely do recommend this and uh I guess that's just about it for now. Peace out, fellas.